guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And um, turn on your notification bell. I keep on forgetting to say turn on your notification bell, but that's also very important. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about, you know, being totally against, okay, you should not want revenge on people. Like you need to wish them well, wish them good luck in life, wish them positivity, love, because, you know, I keep being reminded of something. What goes around comes around. It's the universal law. If you put out lots of hate, that could come back to you. If you put out lots of love, that's going to come back to you. Like me, I am trying to get in a more positive place in my life, a more loving place in my life. I want to attract more love. I want to attract more opportunities. I want to attract more financial opportunities so that I can provide for myself and never have to worry about being homeless again and never have to worry about wandering around on the streets every single day until the shelter opens because when you're in homeless shelters, they don't reopen till 5 and they kick you out at 7 a.m. in the morning. So you have to figure out what to do all day starting at 7 a.m. in the morning until 5 p.m. when the shelter reopens. So, you know, um, if you're being bullied, if you're having any guy threaten you, like, I've had a lot of people threaten my life, a lot of people threaten my safety, and a lot of people push past my boundaries. Instead of getting to the point where I'm angry and I feel like I need to do something about it, letting the professionals handle it, contacting law enforcement is super important, collecting as much evidence as you possibly can, like filming the person every time they come around you. But do not be violent towards anybody because even if you are defending yourself, that can come back towards you and people can misinterpret that. Like the law sees it as even if you're in self-defense, you can still wind up getting in trouble for that. Like, so doing everything that you can that doesn't involve violence. Like I never leave my apartment without a full charge on my phone. I don't care where I'm going. It's really important to me to have a hundred percent charge on my phone so that if something does happen, I could call for help right away. And, um, you know, it's really difficult to stay in age not to get upset at people when they're constantly throwing negative energy energy at you, when they're constantly throwing threats at you and making you feel unsafe and uncomfortable in where you stay or in your own body, anything like that. But trust me, taking matters into your own hands is not helpful and it's not going to do you any good. Being violent is not the answer because I've I've learned a lot of stuff. I've been through a lot of things. And through I talk about everything that I talk about through personal experience. You know, I've been there many times before. And it just does not help to fight back in a violent type of way. You can fight back with your words. Like by speaking your truth. If you were to make a video talking about what you're going through, this is one of the biggest ways that I am able to heal and I'm able to move forward in my life is to have a platform that I can express myself on. YouTube is a big platform. Now, I heard that the government is going to try to take away TikTok for various reasons, but YouTube, I think, will be here to stay for a long time. So that's why I chose YouTube as my main platform because... I know that if I'm going through something, it doesn't matter what it is, I can get on here and I can talk about it and I can feel comfortable because I know that I'm not only just helping myself, but I'm helping other people. Um, and just to have like a new perspective on life and everything. And it's just like, I know that it's very difficult to handle things 
um, in a calm manner when you're going through so much shit, but like when you have videos that you can post online talking about what you're going through, that is when the power is back in your hands. As long as you're able to speak up for yourself and you're able to make your boundaries known, if you tell a guy that you don't want him to show up at your place or you don't want him talking to you, whether you're out walking on the street or he keeps calling your cell phone, you set that boundary, you're firm in that boundary, you're confident in that boundary, and that's all there is to it. If that if that guy continues to bother you, then you need to go to law enforcement and that's it. Like don't try to, and then pray. Of course, if you are spiritual, you don't necessarily have to be religious, but if you are spiritual, whatever you believe in, like pray and, you know, wish that person well, don't wish bad on that person. Like, cause I know that sometimes when we get upset, we want instant gratification and sometimes through instant gratification we wish bad on somebody and we should never do that we should wish them well and wish good things for them but at the same time you should protect yourself always don't um set a boundary and then take that boundary away because somebody else is saying they don't like that boundary that you're setting you need to stick with that boundary and if somebody is upset that you're setting a boundary then that is just another sign that they don't respect you. They don't actually care about you because if somebody actually loved you and cared about you, they would never, ever try to force their way into your life. You know? And they would never make up rumors about you. They would never tell lies about you. They would never say that you're a woman who likes to sleep around. They would never say that you're putting spells on them when you, when you haven't done any magic to harm anybody. If anything, if you've done any kind of magic, it's been to heal yourself and your body. And it's been high vibrational. It's been positive. It's It has nothing to do with negativity. It has nothing to do with trapping a guy and being dishonest by doing a love spell. It has nothing to do with any kind of negativity. Yet there are men out there who will project that type of stuff onto you. And that every single time they see you around, they come up with all of this stuff in their head as to who they think you are based off of how you dress, how you carry yourself, how you respond to them, how you respond to others around you, how you do your makeup, your hair, your clothes, how much money he thinks that you have. That's a big thing in society. A lot of men make women feel like, oh, they can't be successful as successful as a man financially. And, you know, they offer you things, things that they can't, they don't think that you'll ever be able to get on your own or that they try to like hold over your head in order to um, basically say, you know, you can have this lifestyle, but you have to allow me to control you and you should never allow a guy to control your entire life over money. Money is great and everything and it's nothing wrong with loving money. However, if you are allowing money to get you into like situations with guys where like he wants so much control over you. Like here's the thing. I didn't have control over any of the things that happened to me. Unfortunately, even the sex trafficking, I'm a survivor of that. I'm a survivor of being abused as a child. I didn't have control over those things, but there were adults around me who had control. They had the power and they abused their power. I'm not the type of person who got myself into those situations on purpose. And a lot of people assume that I did because a lot of people don't know the difference between trafficking and prostitution. I was never a prostitute. I was sold. I was forced to do certain things. However, um, you should never allow a guy to control you under the guidance of money or materialistic items, like anything like that. You should never like have a guy talking because a lot of men will say, oh, I can give you a good lifestyle. I'll give you money. I'll give you whatever it is that you want. Just he basically wants your soul, basically, like he wants control over you as a human being every single thing that you do. 
and it's going to wind up draining you and it's going to wind up causing you to go into a deep, dark depression and you're going to have mental health issues, physical health issues. There's going to be a lot that comes in. The healing journey is going to be long because the more trauma that you go through, the body keeps the score. You know, starting from childhood on, the body keeps the score. Like the more that you go through, the more you're going to be affected by it, the more healing, the more time it's going to take for you to get better and you know, that get, that can be very damaging. And, you know, you can get better. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't get better. But it's going to take a very long time for you to get better. And I'm telling you right now, like, it's not worth it, like, forsaking your own morals and your belief systems so that you can have something that you can get on your own. You don't need to, you don't need a guy to provide things that you can get on your own. Like you, there are so many opportunities in life that are coming to you that you don't know anything about. You're just living your life going day by day and doing the best that you can and taking care of yourself and loving yourself. And you find different ways to do that. And people assume, can assume all they want to about your financial status, but it's not worth like giving out all of those belief systems up and just for the sake of like having somebody else do things for you because that control, that power that they have over you, oftentimes in society, they will abuse that power and you'll wind up in a really bad situation. So, you know, there are several messages in this video that I want to get across. Violence is never okay. Don't, you know, let go of your morals and your belief systems and allow a guy to control your entire life just for money. Okay, money that you can make on your own, money that you can... The universe and angels will bless you with money. Yeshua will bless you with money. You don't have to do all that type of stuff. And the other message was, you know, the assumption that people already come in with, that, that guys in particular already come in with, that they can provide you things that they assume you don't already have. By working hard, by getting back on your feet, by being a determined a determined young woman and being inspired to do better in life. That's what I am. I'm inspired to do better in life and I'm inspired to do positive things in the world. That's why I'm able to get up every single day. I have inspiration and I have like a story behind me and I've been through a lot and I I don't ever allow any of those things to to bring me down or to prevent me from reaching my goals. You know, it has made me a lot stronger of a woman and a lot of people don't want to respect me or take me seriously because of how young I look and because of being a female and you know, all of these things are preventing them from wanting to respect me and wanting to be genuine towards me and wanting to be a positive um, influence on my life and other people's lives. And I just, I really feel like I'm teaching people, you know, my boundaries. I'm teaching people that I do have standards and my standards are really high for every kind of relationship that I get into romantic friendship no matter I mean I don't care what kind of relationship it is my standards are very high and I will always stand by the stuff that I believe in and I'm not going to leave it behind just because somebody thinks that it's not cool you know I'm always going to remain myself I'm always going to be authentic to who I really am as a woman and I you know I never I definitely never let anybody change my perspective or change my my viewpoint. If I know that's the right thing for me to do in my life, then I'm going to stick with that. It doesn't matter how close that person is to me. You know? 
but thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Turn on the notification bell for more alerts on when I post a video. Thank you.